YouTube, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today and bringing a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. We are switching it up for this one and I'm excited. So I saw a bunch of the guys on Optic Gaming do this, so I thought it'd be awesome to relive this moment with you guys. We're going to be reacting to my first ever MLG Championship. Now, I did win a tournament in 2011. That was Call of Duty XP. We won a lot of money. It was my first tournament win ever. It was a really big moment in my life. But a lot of people say, a lot of pro players, a lot of critics think that since Modern Warfare 3 wasn't out yet and we were using heartbeat sensors and stuff, that it wasn't an actual tournament win. Now, that's up for debate, but this one is so much more special. So we're going to watch it together. This was at the X Games. This was the first time Call of Duty had ever been introduced into a big mainstream event like this. And I had never won an MLG championship prior. Now, I started competing in 2011 on Gears of War. So this was like six years in the making. All I ever wanted to do was win an MLG tournament. Like this was my number one goal. And so leading up to X Games, I want to explain to you guys what was going on with our team. So I was on Optic Gaming at the time. We had Proofy, we had Clayster, we had Scump. So just in terms of raw talent, we could match up against anybody, honestly. Like we had such a good team. But going into this tournament, we really weren't playing that well. Like this team is really talented, but on Call of Duty Ghosts, while we formed this team after we dropped Embos, we really weren't performing up to the standard that we thought we were. Some scrims would go better than others, but overall, leading into X Games, I was really nervous. I had no idea how it was going to turn out. Like I thought there was a very good chance we could be in the finals, but I also thought there was a very good chance that we could go two and out with the top eight teams in the world playing at this event, and we can get like seventh or eighth place. Like it was a big possibility. And then also going into this tournament, you had so many storylines. You had the juggernauts, EG. They were formerly Complexity. It was Crim6, AX, TP, and Karma, and they were the powerhouse god squad. Like nobody thought they could even bleed. They were just dominating at every single tournament and evil geniuses stepped into the call of duty scene which was huge at the time because they were just this gigantic organization they had all these sponsors they had so much notoriety in other respectable esports titles so when they came in and swooped up the best team in the world to win the x games that was like such a great story and going into that i just didn't know if we had the teamwork and the ability to beat them so Ended up taking them out, and when we saw that, we knew we could do anything. The sky was the limit at that point. I mean, the moon was the limit. The space was the limit. It was crazy. Like, when we beat them, it was such a gigantic shift in momentum in the Call of Duty scene. It was all happening at this one event. So, fast forward to Game 5. This is all she wrote. The end-all be-all, whoever wins this map is going to be the X Games gold medalist for the first time ever in Call of Duty. It was myself, Proofy, Clayster, Scump versus TK, Apathy, Sharp, Neslo, Gunjar, Call of Duty Ghost, Sovereign, Surge, and Destroy. You got Remingtons. You got the L119A, I think it was, Sniper Rifle. People running overkill. The MTAR, the Vector, like the greatest guns ever to use. Oh, man, this game had so much hype. It was so good. Search and destroy. No jetpacks. Let's go. We waited too long. Game five. This is it. Scum starting off with the Remington. I haven't watched this in a long, long time. I was running the overkill class with my vector and the sniper rifle. Now, search and destroy in this game was played very, very slow, especially on Sovereign. This was a great map, but everybody on defense and offense would fuel everything out so i mean our whole mindset going into this was let's take the game in our hands and let's be the aggressors apathy getting first blood my heart must have sank when that happened that's so much momentum the first kill game five that's crazy Ooh, my mid map push that was a big kill the mid map push baby nobody ever expects it but again, they, I miss the vector so much. The best strategy on getting in here. Gunjar's got great vision as he's going to see Proofy go in there with the bomb, trying to get some shots off. Gunjar wants to get line of sight in there. He doesn't know if he's planning or not. Proofy was just wreaking havoc. I ended up getting taken out, and it's a 3v2. But then Scump and Proofy with two big kills to get a 2v1 in the first round. So big. Proofy went off this entire event. He was going so hard, getting hyped in the booth. Look at that beautiful man. Let's go. First round is huge in any tournament, any match. You win the first round. You set the precedent. Neslo, going to make an insane play at some point in time in this video. 
on the attack. You guys will see. Go over to this TK lineup. Neslo is pulling. Oh my god, the bulldog. I forgot about it. You're going to see Nezzle rush straight in. We're probably... You guys can see the mini-map. So, we're splitting 2A, 2B. That was our strat. Clayster and Nezzle about to meet up here. It's crazy that I remember our strats. The Bulldog meta was crazy on this map. So, we were splitting up 2 and 2. We were trying to predict an A push. Me and Skump were running A. But we rotated over. Oh, Clayster with first blood and a two-piece. Oh, why is he pushing up? No, Clayster, back up. Back up. No, don't do it. Ah, I'd love to see Clayster back up in that situation. We had a 4v2. Oh, I'm lurking. I'm lurking with the Bulldog. Skump on that flank. If you trust anybody to flank, it's Skump, man. His gun skill is too good. Now we got a 3v1. I'm probably screaming at this point, and so is Clayster. Everyone just stay alive, stay alive. They got a plant. Goonjar's pushing up. Sharp's got that. Skump's got that line of sight. Up 2-0. I can't imagine what they're thinking. That's tough. Oh, man, I missed that red dot muzzle vector, that muzzle break so badly. Everybody playing. Oh my god, baby face. Nade shot. No way. No way. Look at that haircut. No facial hair. Oh man. Alright. So now we're we're going on offense again. We want an offense and a defense. We're we're feeling really good. So I'd imagine we're probably gonna play aggressive. We got a four push coming to the B site. Again, TK playing a little bit more aggressive. They I, they were playing slow pretty much this entire map, but they're getting a little aggressive pushing up middle map. Wow, Clayster got a, a first blood again. Clayster going two two rounds in a row, first blood. That's huge. We're planting bomb. Oh my god, Neslo with the goat flank. With the bulldog. I picked up a kill with the MTAR there. Oh man. 1v1. Clayster. Oh. That's tough. It's okay. We're up 2-1. Man, I missed that team, bro. We were we were good together. I can't believe Dezel flanked there. If you guys are ever confused as to what's happening, since Search and Destroy is a little hard to follow, just follow the kill feed on the bottom. Oh, I have it covered on the bottom right. Hold up. Let me help you guys out. Let me see where I can put this camera so it's not in the way. Hey, we'll put it bottom left so I'm not blocking the kill feed. If you guys are ever confused what's happening, just look at the bottom right. So TK switching it up now with the A push. Shots going down. Nezlo with a big kill on Skump. That's me in the back right. Nezlo's pushing up on me. They're getting this bomb down. There's not really much I can do from back there, though. They know someone's about to pop. Oh, that was Proofy. Never mind. Placer picks up a kill. Proofy picks up another kill. What? Oh, that that's definitely me right there. Wow. No, I got taken out. 2v1. Proofy with the big kill. Wow, bro. Proofy 6-1. Going so hard. Yes! Proofy's looking in the camera. Oh, my God. Placer and Proofy were both going hard at the beginning of this map with a hard carry. Me and Skump bringing it up the rear two and two. We're up 3-1 at this point. We got offense coming up next. From this point on, I'm not really sure what we did because I know this, this is a close game. So we'll see. Let's just let it play out. And I think we're going to see Nade shot sniping once again. Actually, this time, watching the far left, that's going to be Clayster over here at B. Everyone else stacking up on the bomb site. I love these aggressive pushes, man. They had no idea what we were doing. They had no idea. Clayster on the late flank picks up first blood, which was huge for a distraction. Smoke's going down. They probably got the thermals. I'm just staying alive on bomb. And there we go. Nate shot with that suppressor. Able to make it a two. Oh, oh we're just finessing right now. Man standing after the knife from Proof. And he walks right by him and then a knee slide in. 
Two piece. Two piece, baby. Let's go. I juked him. Hit him with the slide. The silenced MTAR. The goat weapon. I still can't believe the no facial hair. They really don't want to go down 5 1. Nezlo with the Bulldog again. I'm on a two kill streak on the top right. Man, we were a 4 1 in this map? We, we're on cloud nine right now. Clacer gets taken out. You know, that seemed to happen a lot. Proofy with a flank two piece. He's nine and one. Oh my god. Two on two, me and Skump versus Gunjar Neslo. I'm pushed up right there. If I would have flanked just now. This is so intense. We're looking for them. We basically just switch sides. You guys can look at the mini map top left. Oh, we both whiffed on the knife. I can't believe I got the kill there. They've got one more. And you gotta wonder if Nate Shot's just gonna go for the defuse and Skump covers him. It looks like that's what they're gonna do. Wow, this Fire, sneaky spot, dude. Great play by Gunjar. The only way Skump's gonna have to do is push this one. And Gunjar just went good. so big with that two piece. Wow. That hurts. That's the first place we should have looked, honestly. It's it's four to two now. I can't believe how hard proof was going. He's nine and one. Dude, they they won an offense and now they got defense. The underground flank. This was one of my favorite plays to do. We had so many different plays and strategies. I loved it. Oh, big. Let's go, baby. We went so hard. The two piece. As Sharp is going to be all alone. We just dominated. Oh my God, bro. Oh no. We were up five to two. We're one round away from the X Games Championship gold medal. One round. I know it's coming, man. I remember the play, so I know it's coming. I, I, I really don't want you guys to see it or watch it. I know it's coming. We're on defense too? No way. Oh, it takes me out right away with that bulldog. We almost got that kill. Placer picks up another kill. Placer with a two piece. We have a 3v2. Nezzo on a flank. Another one with this bulldog. Nezzo. With, oh my god. Another two piece. Bro, there were so many incredible plays. I can't believe Proofy's going this hard and we left him in a two, a two on one like this. 10 and 2. That's Robto. May have just. Let his teammate or his opponents know exactly where he is. Proofy trying to get an Man, if I would have killed Nezlo at the beginning of that round, that bulldog is insane. I hated that meta. I hated the bulldog meta. Oh my god. Oh my god. Proof was in a one on one. He played this well, too. So if Proofy does engage closely to him, Neslo should be able to win that gunfight. Neslo Bro, this was so intense. Neslo was going so hard. Proofy almost won that. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if he would have clutched that? He would have went like 11 and 2, 12 and 2. And we would have won right there. So now it's 5-3. Now it's getting close. One round away from my first ever MLG championship. X Games gold medal. Bro, I, I'm, I have like an adrenaline rush right now just watching this. This is the round, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just let you guys watch. I'm going to just let you guys watch. I'm not even going to say anything. I know it's tough to get kills when your teammates have 27 combined, but 
They could use him here trying to close this game out. You're going to see a flank eventually. No one watching that flank quite yet here. Can TK get in position as Optic is stalling out at B? It looks like the initial shot's going down inside. Oh, Scumpy is, is. going to turn the corner and get first blood on Apathy. That might, that, that's what they needed from him right there. Just get something going there. Glacier's going to see it taken out by Sharp. Ruby. It's a 3v3. Proofy gets a kill on Sharp. 3v2 situation. Bomb is going down at the hands of Proofy. And you've got Nate Shot that looks like he's going to push up uh -oh. all the way into the flank here. And Neslo is going to try to come up two from the flank on yellow. So Scumpy two on one. This yellow area. Two on one with the bomb planted. Neslo's all alone. So it is Nate Shot and Scump going to have to try to close this one out for the win. And Neslo. 28 seconds left. Has no idea where we're at. I just got a kill on their side of the map. up the final kill to secure X Games gold. Shots going down. Trying to draw out Neslo. Neslo pushing. Scumpy. And he's going to get the kill on Nate. Scumpy. Will he spot him? Patience. There it is. Oh, he got it. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was massive! That was massive by Alright. This is this is a play that runs through my head at least like once every couple weeks. I'm not even kidding. Look at look at the stare. Look at the look in his eyes. He just disrespected our entire organization, our families, our ancestors. Look at the ferocity and just the disrespect in his eyes guys we we got to go back and just pause this real quick so there's there's 15 seconds left right when neslo's in this bomb there's 26 seconds left right now and i spot him right here i saw i saw him with 23 seconds left and me and scump are literally on top of each other not riding each other what i should have done is I should have just ran away. I should have ran down the stairs, went in the hallway, and went to their side. It avoids all possibility of him killing both of us, which I didn't even think was possible, because me and Scump are looking at the same exact damn thing. I should have ran away, got away, and the round would have been over. We would have been X Games gold medalists right in that moment. And somehow, Neslo kills me, and me and Scump were just confused as to where he was, I guess. I just, I can't believe that. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was like, massive. actual disbelief that that happened. My heart sank. And I, I have some really bad attributes as a teammate. And I was yelling, bro. I was so mad. I'm like, Scump! Why did you run away? Why did you run away? What are you doing? Why did you not kill him? I was literally yelling like that. I'm not even kidding. I, like, my voice cracking. I was... I was ready to I was ready to cry, bro. I just wanted to win so badly and we had it in our hands and it got taken away from us. But let's get back into it. 5-4 Optic Gaming versus TK. Team Caliber on the attack though. Optic Gaming with defender's advantage. And Nate shot's going to get taken out by Nate. I died. I got first blooded. I thought we were going 5-5 for sure. That's a nice that's a huge pickup especially on offense here. And now Sharp's going to try to get into B, bounce this Nate off. Nobody's home next door. And now he's going to try to sneak up and get the shot tough because we've got a four on three or three v four on defense there is a flank coming in. Look at this. scump with a huge flank two v three five four proof and clay in a two v three five four about to get snuck up on by a player down low and shotgun comes in he sees somebody no! misses it no Neslo misses the most unbelievable kill and now it's all alone in a two v one this time Instead of Nate shot Scump, it's gonna be proof and Clayster here. Make the one, on one. one kill. One v one. Situation. It's a huge round. If Gunjar can clutch this, he will put this in overtime. Clayster Twenty-two seconds left. More passive because it's up to Gunjar to maybe make a plan here, and he knows that too. Clayster and Gunjar look like they might meet up here in a second. Clay's got the better weaponry oh as well. This gosh. bulldog up close could be devastating. Eight seconds left. He's got a plant. We knew he had to plant. So he's got to get the kill. Gujar's got to find Clayster. Clayster's going to look. Yes! The emotion. You guys don't understand how happy we were. You guys have no idea. They will take the first ever MLG X Games gold. Wow, what a search game. That was the best search game I've seen. Oh, man, that's the worst feeling, losing. 
the gold medals. I Justine's there. All right, so let me explain what happens here. Because this was huge. Just this moment right here. So Neslo had been picking up two piece after two piece after two piece with his bulldog, right? You guys saw it yourself. Watch this. I'll never forget this. Him and Clayster are about to run into each other. Clayster has an assault rifle. Bro, Neslo just misses and Proofy picks up a kill at the same time. And I'm so nervous at this point. I should have just let them play it, man. I, I, like, sometimes I could be a really bad teammate. Like, I, I'm very vocal. When I see a situation and I, I think I know how it's supposed to be played, I really start yelling, dude. I really get into it. So I'm telling Proofy and Clay just to get together, right? Proofy drops down. And him and Clay just really aren't together. I mean, they are and they aren't. Proofy dies. And you guys know the rest. We ended up winning... I like our entire team went big this this tournament, but Proofy and Clayster really turned up for the finals. Like Clayster got so many first bloods. Proofy went massive, 13 kills. I mean, I had I was eight and seven, scum four and eight. But either way, guys, one of like the greatest moments in my life, bro. We got the gold medals, and nobody expected us to win that tournament. I think that was Optic Gaming's first. MLG win since like Black Ops 1 2011 so there was just so much on the line so many things happening and just the fact that we ended up winning that was just like one of literally the greatest moments of my life and I hope that you guys remember it and if you guys never saw it I hope that you guys enjoyed reliving it with me the intensity in that match was insane thank you guys very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed I missed that roster man boost the ground call of duty's coming back just watching that just gets me so hyped. I'm really looking forward to November, man. We got surprises coming for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Please drop a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and YouTube. We'll see you fudging later. Goodbye.